question because I know you have to go. Um, do you have any advice for someone in, in Africa who's trying to start a business and is, you know, wondering is this the right move to make? Do I, you know, how do I go about this? How do I feed my family or take care of my bills and stuff like that? Do you have any, any just one piece of advice? I, I think having been to Africa a few times and going back, uh, I'm involved with something called the African Angels Network, which was started by a friend of mine who's from Soweto, grew up dirt poor, who ended up going to Oxford, came, I think he might have been at the time at Harvard, went to Wall Street, made a lot of money, quit at 33 years old to go back to start the African Angels Network, not just to invest money in young creatives across the continent. I don't believe he has anything yet in Ghana, but certainly Nigeria, Kenya, Ethiopia, South Africa, um, supporting many different businesses, knowing that um, there's a rise of creative capital happening on the continent. There are people like yourself who have spent time abroad or coming back with skill sets to develop the country. You know, Africa is the last frontier in so many ways. We know the Chinese are big up in Africa, obviously the Dutch and the Germans and the, the, the French and everyone, the Portuguese, everyone has raped and pillaged the continent. But I think that um, there's still tremendous amounts of like, creativity. I worked with John DeMillo, a Ghanaian actor on a, on a Nollywood film. Um, I just think that people should know that the world is looking at Africa. Um, African Americans are looking at Africa. Um, a bunch of my friends have moved there to start businesses. Um, and I just think that, that don't believe it's not possible just because you can't see the end of the road. You know? And know that everything from this camera to this wall to this table to this iPhone, this, this shirt, everything started as an idea from someone else. So if they can do it, so can you. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I would add to that too. Um, I oftentimes, now that I've been an entrepreneur, like a full blown entrepreneur, I think you truly find out who you are and, and how much passion you have inside of you when your back is against the wall. And the one thing I would say is just, you can prepare, and it's important to prepare, but it's also important to just actually start doing it and figuring it out because it's never going to be as you imagine it on paper. You know, you write a business plan or you write, you know, a plan of this is what's going to happen and it always goes like this. It's a line that's like this and then you sort of figure it out and you learn along the way. Um, I've been saying something lately, like there's so much beauty and knowledge in the hustle and the struggle, which is absolutely true. Like the things that we have found out about each other and about the world, it's only because we put ourselves in this, in this position. So it's an uncomfortable position. It's, and it's a very uncomfortable position. Uh, again, because it's an unknown. But that's how, to Malik's point about the phone, or, you know, any great sort of idea or invention, it was unknown before it was known. You know, if you think about that, it's like, before there was an airplane, there was no airplane. And someone came up with that idea and it was rejected and it sucked and it failed and it was hard and it was sure there was a lot of blood and sweat and tears and financial loss, but look, look, at, look at what we have now. And I truly feel like as humans, we've only just scratched the, the, the surface. And I believe now with technology and people being able to connect quickly across the world, it doesn't matter if you're in Africa or South America, I feel like every person has an opportunity to actually contribute something to society. It doesn't have to be an iPhone, the next iPhone, but there are things that could be done from an entrepreneurial standpoint that pushes the agenda forward. And start with um, a need, you know? Look around you, what's needed, and fill that gap, you know, and don't stop. And now with the internet, and there's not a question you can ask, pretty much, that you can't find an answer to somewhere online. If you have access to a computer, you have access to information. If you have access to information, you have access to resources and people. And the other thing is just don't give up. Never, ever, ever give up. That's the only way you really fail, is if you give up. Got it?